the Steelers are getting some reinforcements on defense. Signed defensive tackle Jonathan Marshall. This comes after Chris Wormley tore his ACL. He'll be out for the rest of the season. We'll see how much time he could miss potentially next season. This was a player right. in Wormley that played consistently and all 16, 17 game seasons. He rarely got hurt. And then the Steelers also signed outside linebacker Ola Adani as well. So um, Steelers getting some defensive upgrades, uh, some defensive reinforcements. And Ike, I look at it from this standpoint too. If you could hit on maybe even one of these signings, maybe you can find someone who can help this team, not just for this season, but in 2023 and beyond. These underrated signings, I'm hoping that when we look back on this, it's like, oh, yeah, I remember when the Steelers made this move, and we don't think a lot about it right now, but 2023 and beyond is kind of how I approach this. You could strike gold on one of these two. That's where I land with that. Yes, yeah, it's, it's early grooming. It, it's like a kid um, It's like a kid coming out of high school and he's going to college early to play football in January. Mm-hmm. So um, he, 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 will, he, will, he will be groomed early instead of going in the summer and hitting the fall, and now everything is new. Same thing when you're getting these guys, uh, even even late in the season in December. You're, you're still giving them a three-, four-week groom on what it is to be a Steelers, the expectation, and this is how we're doing things before the offseason really hits in January, you know. So, yeah, if you can strike on – if you if you got two and you can strike on one, um, it doesn't – it doesn't – it doesn't matter. You're you're golden. So, yeah. But that's that's exactly how I look at it. Um, you get a few free agents, um, depending on somebody's player injury, and you hit on one of them. That's a good thing. I just look at it as a a kid coming out of high school early. You know, going into college, so we have a whole six seven months to kind of settle himself in and understand how the business is ran. Tell you a little bit about Marshall. Entered the league in 2021, a sixth round pick out of uh-huh. Arkansas. And again, was on the Jets practice squad as well. And then again, that kind of accounts for Chris Wormley, who becomes an unrestricted free agent in March. So a torn ACL means he probably won't be ready yeah. for the start of next season. Oh and no! I wish him right a speedy now. recovery. I wish him a speedy Correct. recovery. The timing is just—it's brutal. Yeah, it's tough. The ACL around this time—I mean, knock on wood—you know, it's just—it's just tough in general. Even though the ACL surgeries and guys able to come back as fast as they once did, especially in my day and era. Um, guys was coming back fast, they even coming back faster, so say, because of technology and medicine, and these doctors are way in advance. Um, but, yeah, you still want to take your time when it comes down to ACL when you're a football player regardless, you know. So a uh, speedy re- – I ain't going to say speedy recovery, a uh, successful recovery, you know, sure. is what I want to say. Sure. Yeah, it's how it always cracks me up. They had successful knee surgery, Ike, and it's like with modern medicine, it's like, well, I hope, you know. Uh, right. Ola Adani uh, comes over from Tennessee, an edge rusher. So Malik uh-huh. Reed, who's been backing up both T.J. Watt and Alex Highsmith, he's been dealing with some back issues. Uh, Jameer Jones is rotated in, but he's playing on special teams. And then the Steelers have also used – DeMarvin Leal, the rookie out of Texas A&M, a little bit uh, like as a hybrid outside linebacker a little bit this season. One thing I noticed okay. with the Daney, though, Ike, he's very active on his LinkedIn account. I was trying to do some research for this, and he already lists that he's a member of the Pittsburgh Steelers. I love it. A true professional. Hey, man, you know these young kids, when it comes down to anything, when it comes down to these phones and being locked in, they already stuff in. So – whether he got a LinkedIn, a IG, or Twitter, or TikTok, as soon as anything changed, man, I'm sure as soon as his name come up, it's gonna upgrade his link account ASAP. 